Hey, how's it going? This is an exercise that was shown to me many years ago by Joe Casadas to develop my fingers. And I've seen other drummers do that since, maybe one or two in a couple of videos. But I've recorded this many, many times on cell phones for a student so that they could take it home. So now I'm just going to do a video on it so I don't have to keep doing it over and over. Anyway, um, it's a simple exercise and it's difficult. And we're going to be working on these three fingers in this position. So what I recommend is you don't keep your pad like this. What you want to do is you want to try to get your bead here, not like this. You want to try to get it down here so you get more bounce. Now, this is what we're basically doing here. It's like bouncing a basketball. See that? Now, a lot of mistakes people make is that they, they try to shorten it up or they're going to extend their fingers straight like this. You want to just use the natural curve of the fingers, relaxed. You know, I'm a big proponent of being relaxed. I get more light here. So, you don't have to do this fast. Get a nice relaxed bounce. The stick comes straight up and down. And then you switch to the middle finger and then the ring finger. And then you're going to do all three. It's kind of hard to do the pinky in this position. There are other exercises for that. So what I have my students do is this, but I have them do it four bars of sixteenths, and, and we count it like this. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a four, and a two, and a, and a four, and then switch one. Now that switch can be a little difficult, but you, the thing is, it's a timing issue and staying relaxed. So four bars of sixteenths and then all three, the same thing. Now, if you're having trouble with this, there's an undercut. A lot of people do have this uh, problem. So the undercut for this is you keep the, the hand in this position and holding the stick like that. And you just tap the stick. But listen. nice and even. And again, the finger in this position, not tense like that. And that's going to really develop all of these muscles that run through the hand up through here. These two fingers are connected, so the transitioning from here to here is difficult. So just work on it, you'll get it. If your weaker hand is the left hand, it may take more of this tapping to do that. So anyway, I hope that helps, and uh, you guys keep practicing. Have fun.